never heard of that in my entire life, but I like it. I might use that tactic. <laughs> Golfers are superstitious, Kev. Yeah. You're always looking for new ways. That just creeps on to that level on the back, so a good shot by Thigala. Thigala, one of the better tee shots we have seen at the second for birdie. Left it in a perfect spot. If he can get it to the hole up the hill. He yeah. got it there and had it read perfectly. A rare two at the second for Sahith. Up on the green, Sahith the gala to stay at 13 under. Well, he bunkered his tee shot and on that short bunker well back there, hit it to the front left, which is actually an easier place to chip from. Again, one of the strategies that they yep. learn the golf course better. Well, rules official came in to talk to Sahith Thigala. Going to bring in Mark Duspavik from PGA Tour Rules. Mark, do you know what's taking place? Sahith has gone to our official. He's called for a ruling, and he feels that he touched the sand on his last hole when he was taking his backswing. Now, it is a penalty if you touch the sand while your ball is in the bunker. And we have confirmation that he, he feels that he did, so it's going to be a two-shot penalty for him. OK, so thank you. So they, they have that discussion and Sia says, yes, I did exactly that. And so the penalty that third, there's the infraction. Let's see if we can get a little better view of it or NBC it zooming in here. Didn't wow. see it. I don't there. see much there, Dan. Huh? Now I'd be arguing with Deuce again when I got done. Give me my two shots back. Golf's already hard enough. It's all about where this ball lands, Smiley. If it lands on, it can chase back there. Short is going to stay short. It was a lot easier to find the first two rounds. Up ahead, the Gala's fourth. And he's still got more work left. Yeah. And now the Gala, this for par. Okay, it's been a rocky couple of holes with that rules call that he called on himself. Thigala ready at uh, 12, Smiley. And basically the same number as Xander. A nice play, just yeah. coming off a birdie at the last. Thigala's got a chance here at 12. Chance to get into that tie for fourth. Yes! The gala. Play a little hook shot there, Giz. Love it, trying to get some release, but needed to hook it a little more. Yeah, not his best. This for three in a span of four holes. Yeah, saw him moving it to 13 under. Sahit Thigala at 13 under. Get our track man technology. A look. Good looking. Oh. Chance to get at the 14 and what might have been, right? Saw one from Shoffley. How about Thigala? Yep, they're all going in. <laughs> it is, yep. Fighting his way back. Any sort of chance of winning. This was a moment ago on the par four 16 after he hit the fairway. Workout. You heard it. He's, he just said workout somehow because he knows if that goes too far right, that's going way downtown that hill on the right. He's old school. He generally likes to fade it, and he's done that here, but did he overcook it? I think he got it started just enough left early that he's going to catch the fairway. So nicely done there. He's made three birdies in a row. Five in his last six holes. Look at this. Got that one to stop as fast as we see any ball here and spin. And again, if you weren't with us, he called it on himself. He's the first one that said, yep, I touched the sand. Out of the fairway bunker there on three. We couldn't see it when we did the replay. Seven out of eight. And now the gala back up the hill. Hammer fade, try to take some of the slope on the landing area. That looks like a perfect line off the tee. I think it's the closest to, you know, visibly kind of swinging look that Shef of Scheffler 
the Gala has. I mean, it's just that freewheeling, lots of stuff going on. Yeah, not much in it. That is way the down there. Drawings. Looks like he's going for a fade to do it too, Smiley. And this is out to the left towards the bunker. It's fine there. Well, they were hitting. This was Stigala's third to try to post a fifth straight birdie on his third round. Look at that talent, and look at those hands. Love that. that. Should be five in a row, kids. Yeah, I loved his exit through that ball. And how about Stigala coming home here after calling the penalty on himself at the third hole? Has just been truly a 64 there, yeah. Dan. To be honest, he's called a two shot, two shot on himself to make it 66. So I Figala was in there for quite a while. He is out now and standing by with Carbex. He is indeed, Mike. Thank you. Ultimately signing for that third round 66. I could have been a couple better if it wasn't for that penalty you called on yourself in the bunker at three, and then that lengthy conversation. Can you talk us through what happened? Yeah, um, you know I had a very unique lie on three. My my pitch mark hit in the face of the bunker, my ball rolled up, and then it rolled back right on top of the pitch mark. So it was a lie that we never usually have at practice. And, and you know, I, I hover my ball, or I pick up my club normally on my iron shots, and on that one I went through the same process. And um, it f I didn't feel it, but I saw something. Right as I took it back in my peripheral, I thought I saw some sand move. And I was v pretty sure of it. I'd say in the 90% sure, 90% sure that I saw some sand move. Um, and I notified Xander right away because I was just like, I, I, I should probably tell him and call rules official over. And, um, you know, me and Xander thought that because there was no intent and I, it, if anything, I brushed a few grains of sand that it would be no problem, like no penalty or anything. But called for a rules official as I finished the hole and um, they knew the rule right away that it was a two shot penalty because it was changing the lie uh, in the play of the ball, like in the direct play of the ball. And direct, and that happened to be the direct play of the backswing. Um, fortunately, there was no uh, clear, there was no like clear footage of the of it happening. I would have loved to seen, you know, a, a clear video of me moving the sand. Um, but I, I just, I think I, I really think I moved the sand. Um, it's just a bummer there's not clear footage. And, and I, you know, if someone would have asked me, did you move the sand? I would say yes, because I saw it. I thought I saw it, and uh, we've played a lot of golf, and your intuition as a golfer is very rarely wrong. Um, so it's a, it's a tough pill to swallow, but rules of the golf are the rules of golf, and uh, I think that's a rule that seems a little silly to lose two shots on a on a thing like that. But that's the that's the gray line of intent, and um, you can do a lot of other silly things in a bunker. You can fall in a bunker. You can drop your club in a bunker in an accident, and it's it's not a penalty at all. But um, it's just unfortunate, and. Um, you know, Carl really kept me in it today. My caddy did and kind of just took it on the chin. But um, it is what it is and, and just got to take it. Incredibly admirable of you. And you bounce back five straight birdies to finish. Good luck tomorrow. We're going to head up to Mike. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. To watch another video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.